In this video, we are going to learn how to use PowerShell Empire. This video assumes you've installed Empire on Kali Linux. If you haven't, check out my installation video using the link found in the description below. Otherwise, this will be a fast and no filler video to using PowerShell Empire. Let's get started. Let's first enter the Empire directory and then start the Empire binary. You can enter a question mark to view a list of commands available in the Empire framework. Notice the command listeners. We need to first configure a listener to receive and handle connections from our infected hosts. Enter the command listeners to drop into the listener context. Next, type in use listener followed by two tabs to view available listeners. We'll go ahead and use the HTTP listener. Press Info to view the available configuration settings. You'll want to take some time to review these options in detail. For now, we'll set the default delay to one second. This causes your PowerShell agent to call back to the listener once every second, which will make it seem a little bit more responsive. Now we'll type execute to start our listener. To verify that your listener is working, enter the listeners command. Now we need to create a stager. Our stager is the code that will infect our victim host. Enter the command use stager and press tab two times to view the available stagers. Let's use launcher.bat which launches our stager using a Windows batch file. You can view additional configuration settings by entering Options. Next, we need to tell the agent which listener to call. We'll do so by entering the command set listener HTTP. Now we'll enter the command generate to generate our payload. Now we'll simply copy the stager code to our clipboard. I'll open another tab and open the code in gedit. I'll just highlight it all and press Control C to copy it to the clipboard. We'll now paste the code into our Windows VM. We'll switch back to Kali. And we see that we have received a new connection from our agent. We can view our available agents by typing in the agents command. Let's rename our agent into something a little bit more convenient. We'll use the rename command followed by the current agent name and then the desired name. Now that we have an Empire agent, we can interact with it and issue commands. Enter the command interact followed by the agent name. In this context, you can enter info to get additional information about your agent. You can also type help to view supported commands. Take some time to review these options. If you would like to execute shell commands, enter shell followed by the command name. Notice that you will not receive a response immediately. That's because Empire commands are asynchronous. The next thing we'll cover is how to execute Empire modules. These modules are where Empire really starts to shine as an exploitation framework. To view available modules, type use module followed by tab tab. As you can see, Empire has hundreds of modules. We'll select the get local group module, which is part of PowerView. We'll hit enter and then type info to see its available options. Presently, the only required option is agent, which is currently set to our only agent, victim. We run execute to execute the module. And in a few moments, it will give us the local groups that our current user is a member of. Now, most Empire modules follow the same syntax and format. There are hundreds of modules, so you'll want to spend a great deal of time getting to know them. Now to conclude this video, we'll shut down our current agents. 
Let's first go back to the main empire screen, and then we'll go into the agents context. We can kill agents using the command kill followed by the agent name. And we'll go ahead and kill our current listener. We'll go back to the main context, and then listeners, and we'll kill HTTP. Finally, we'll exit the Empire framework, and our system is now in its pre-Empire state. Now we've covered the basics of PowerShell Empire. You've learned how to configure listeners, stagers, and agents, and you've also learned how to issue shell commands and execute Empire modules. That said, we've really only scratched the surface of Empire's true capabilities, so you're really going to want to devote some time to practice, explore, and refine your PowerShell Empire skills. So that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please feel encouraged to leave me a like and subscribe below. I am Blue Sentinel, and I look forward to seeing you next time.